Hi everyone, this is Dr. Stowell, your friendly neighborhood psychology department chair, coming to you live, well, not live, recorded, from Waddington, New York. Uh, this is where I live, the little village, about 20 miles north of the campus. Oh look, there's a truck. Oh my God. Oh, that's our neighbor. Okay, anyway. So yes, Waddington, there's the St. Lawrence River. And there's my dog. That's Bud. He needed to go out, so here we are. So anyway, I uh, just wanted to check in, see how you're doing. Uh, for those of you who are in your dorms um, or in, Pots in Potsdam in your apartments, um, there, are, there isn't much happening on the campus. Becky's is open, as far as I know, for some limited hours. The library is closed. Uh, in person, it's virtual only. Um, all the academic buildings are closed, so you're not able to access those. The food pantry is open. If you're running out of food or supplies, uh, you are able to go in there during the regular hours and get what you need. And if you're running short on anything, you can message them on Facebook or on Twitter and they will get back to you. So uh, for those of you, everyone else, I hope you're at home and you're safe with your families or where, wherever that might be. The, um, the counseling center has telecounseling available. So if you have a regular appointment there, you can call them or check the website, they'll tell you about it. Um, I'm not sure what services this health center has, the student health center, um, but if you have questions, you can always call them. And like I said, the library is operating virtually. So any resources that you need from the library, uh, you can get online. For those of you who are, have Dr. Deget as a professor, he should be getting in touch with you soon. He does not have the internet at home. Uh, I spoke to him on the phone yesterday. He's fine. He's not sick or anything like that. He's just been working to get a plan put together and he's working with CTS. So he should have uh, the internet and a laptop fairly soon and he will be in touch with you. So please don't worry. Um, we're doing fine here. Like I said, there's Bud. He's checking out the neighborhood. You can maybe sniff around a little bit. Um, we're working at home. My voice sounds a little funny, not because I'm sick, but because something pissed me off yesterday, I'll be honest. And my husband was on a conference call, so I found a pillow and screamed into it and screwed up my vocal cords. So, hey, you know, that's how my week is going. So we're trying to get everything ready. I hope you've been in touch with all of your professors. Uh, they will be letting you know if they, they should have gotten in touch with you to let you know what's happening. A lot of stuff is happening on Moodle, on Microsoft Teams, on Zoom. Um, I'm available on Teams and Moodle, well, and, and Zoom and also Facebook Messenger if you want to video chat. This is my YouTube channel, so I will be posting videos to this channel as well, so feel free to give me a follow there. Feel free to friend me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter. I tweet under my own name, although I, I tend to get kind of ragey on Twitter, so maybe not. Um, I have a Snapchat, but I forget to check it, so don't message me there. It'll be six weeks before I remember. So anyway, um, if you're bored uh, and sick of seeing the same thing, I'll just show you what I'm looking at. That's the St. Lawrence River, that's my backyard. That's my neighbor's house. That's very exciting. And look, there's no one here on the street. Let's go check out and see what's going on on the street. You gonna come? Come on, buddy. Are you gonna lead the way? Okay. So we had some snow here a little bit, which sucks. Yeah, there's nobody around. It's kind of weird. Oh, hey, we took the trash out because we are responsible citizens. So anyway, I just wanted to check in with you, see how you're doing. Feel free to respond to this email. And if you have questions or concerns or anything that you want to know about, um, I'm around. I'm checking email and all that kind of stuff. So I know this sucks, I'm sorry. This is not what we wanted, especially for the seniors. I haven't heard anything about graduation. Oh my God, look, a car. Hey, check it out, there's a person. <laughs> I know, it's day two, I'm losing my mind, how about you? <laughs> but anyway, graduation, I haven't heard, I know the honors convocations and stuff are gonna be virtual, but I haven't heard about what they're gonna do for graduation. It might be virtual or it might be an in-person ceremony postponed. It just depends on how things go. I know we're not out of this yet, so please be patient with us. We're trying to figure stuff out too. Anyway, I hope you're well, I hope your families are well, stay, inside as much as you can you can go outside just in your area you can take walks as long as no oh, oh okay we missed that sorry he just did a shake for you just maintain that social distance six foot somebody said it's the length of a lightsaber 
So I got a lightsaber for Christmas, so that's what I'm using whenever people come to buy. I whip it out and I, oh, that's weird. I, <laughs> and make sure that people stay away from me. You can get food from delivery, you know that. Um, I know Cantina has delivery and a couple of other restaurants. I think Larry's, St. Larry's does too. So you can do that. And you can go out and get food. You just have to kind of stay away from people because you don't want to catch this. You guys can catch it too. And you can get just as bad sick as anybody else. So I know I'm rambling. This is what happens when I don't have anyone else to talk to besides my husband. So I hope you're well. We'll talk soon. You'll see. Oh, look, there goes the cable, guys. This is so exciting, live in Waddington. Anyway, I hope I brightened your day. You take good care. I'm thinking about all of you. Let me know if you have any questions, okay? Mama Bear, out.